Good morning. I am glad to be here with you today. Now let's get started. During my talk this morning, I will provide you with some background on Romanticism 1790s till 1730s. After this lesson, students will be able to define Romanticism, explain the characteristics of Romanticism in poetry and literature, list key writers and works of Romanticism, compare and contrast characteristics of Romantic poetry to Romantic literature. In this presentation, we will discuss pre-Romantic period about Robert Burns and William Blake. Romanticism in English Poetry, The Lake Poets, Percy Bysshe Shelley, George Gordon Byron, Romanticism in Prunes about Walter Scott. What is Romanticism? Romanticism is a trend that originated in Germany and came into all European literatures in the last decades of the 18th century. It lasted for the first three or four decades of the 19th century. Romanticism is the first reaction of the intellectuals to the French Revolution. The people of the period were disappointed with the outcome of the French Bourgeois Revolution. Why it's called the Romantic Era? Originally the word was applied to the Latin or Roman dialects used in the Roman provinces, especially France, and to the stories written these dialects. Romantic is a derivative of Romant, which was borrowed from the French Romant in the 16th century. What happened during the Romantic era? The early period of the Romantic era was a time of war with the French Revolution 1789-1799, followed by the Napoleonic Wars until 1815. This was along with the political and social turmoil that went along with them served as the background for Romanticism. William Blake, an English poet, painter and engraver who created a unique form of illustrated verse, his poetry inspired by mystical vision is among the most original lyric and prophetic in the language. William Blake was born in London. He was a third of seven children. Blake's father, James, was a Hoseyim. He attended school only long enough to learn reading and writing, living at the age of 10 and was otherwise educated at home by his mother Catherine Wright Armitage Blake. When William was 10 years old, he was not sent to school, but instead enrolled in drawing classes at Parsons Drawing School. His early work displays knowledge of Ben Johnson, Edmund Spencer and the Psalms. Here we can see top 10 William Blake poems. The Tiger, The Lamb, Never Seek to Tell Thy Love, The Chimney Sweeper, The Little Boy Lost, Song How Sweet I Roamed From Field to Field, A Prison Tree, On Another Sorrow, The Sick Rose, London. Robert Burns famous works, here you can see six main works To a mouse on turning her up in her nest with a plow Address to a haggis, old land sign Thomas Shanter, a red red rose He therefore on honest poverty The greatest poet of Scotland, Robert Burns Robert Burns was born in Alloway, Ayrshire, January 25, 1759. He was the eldest of seven children born to William Burns, a struggling tenant farmer, and his wife Agnes Brown. Although poverty limited his formal education, Burns read widely in English literature and the Bible and learned to read French. Why are they called Lake Poets? 
In English literature, the key figures of the older Romantic period are considered to be the group of poets, including William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, and the Robert Southey. Later, they became known as the Lake Poets, named after the Lake District in the northwest of England, where they lived. What are characteristics of Romantic poetry? Romantic poetry is the poetry of the Romantic era, an artistic, literary, musical and intellectual movement that originated in Europe towards the end of the 18th century. It involved a reaction against prevailing Enlightenment ideas of the 18th century and lasted approximately from 18th to 1850. Who are the English Romantic poets? Here we can say about William Blake, William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, John Keats, Percy B. Shelley, George Cotton, or Lord Byron, or Robert Burns. Shelley was born on 4th August 1792. At Field Place near Horsham, Sussex, educated at Eton College until his expulsion at the end of one year, the University of Oxford. With another student, Thomas Jefferson Hawke, Shelley had written and circulated a pamphlet, The Necessity of Atheism, of which the University authorities disapproved. Percy Bysshe Shelley is one of the epic poets of the 19th century and is best known for his classic anthology verse works such as Ode to the West Wine and The Mask of Anarchy. He is also well known for his long form poetry, including Queen Mab and Alastair. George Gordon Byron, an English poet and a leading figure in the Romantic movement, was born on 22 January 1788 in London. He inherited the title Lord from his great uncle. Byron received his early formal education at Aberdeen Grammar School. Lord Byron was a British romantic poet and satirist whose poetry and personality captured the imagination of Europe. Although made famous by the autobiographical poem, poem Child Harold's Pilgrimage and his man of affairs is perhaps better known today for the satiric realism of Don Juan. Proved in the Romantic Age included essays, literary criticism, journals and novels. The two greatest novelists from the Romantic period were Jane Austen and Sir Walter Scott. The novels drastically differed from each other. Scott Sir Walter, poet and novelist, was born in College One in the old town of Edinburgh on 15 August 1771, the tenth child of Walter Scott and Anne Rutherford, his father son of Robert Scott, a prosperous border ship farmer. Scottish novelist, poet, historian and biographer, who is often considered both the inventor of the greatest practitioner of the historical novel, many of his works remain classics of both English language literature and of Scottish literature. Famous titles include Ivanhoe, Rob Roy, Old Mortality, The Lady of the Lake, Waverley, The Heart of Midlothian and The Bride of Lamamore.